started in a cloud of dust and gas, which is the solar nebula. Solar nebula is a swirling cloud made up of hydrogen, helium, and other dust particles. These particles were pulled together by the gravity. Due to the gravitational force acting upon the solar nebula, it contracts inward, causing it to collapse. The disturbance of some event, such as a passing star or a shock wave from a nearby supernova. As the nebula shrank, gravity increases. As the nebula falls inward, gravitational potential energy is converted to heat. As it radius decreases, it rotates faster. This comes the next step called the nebular rotation. Once the nebula collapses, it begins to spin due to the centrifugal force. As it rotates, the nebula flattens into a disk. This results to the birth of the star called the Sun. The Sun is formed at the center of the nebula. Nebular hypothesis is a theory which states that the whole solar system starts as a large cloud of gas that contracts under self-gravity. Meanwhile, protoplanet hypothesis suggests that a great cloud of gas and dust of at least 10,000 million kilometers in diameter rotated slowly in space about 5,000 million years ago. Lighter elements were swept outside the disk, leaving the heavy and rockier materials. The collision of molten metals and dust particles form clusters which is made up of rocks. Gravity begins to pull over rocks and other elements which form planetesimal, almost like a baby planet.